The smoke hasn't cleared just yet for residents in Garnet Valley, but people here are now breathing a big sigh of relief. After a stressful four days of being evacuated and watching the Mount Aeneas wildfire burn right behind homes, all evacuees have now been allowed to return. Today, nothing more than a small plume of smoke is visible from the Garnet Valley, but a few days ago, this hillside was essentially a wall of fire. Fortunately, no homes were lost, but the close scare made for an emotional return for residents. I was in tears seeing that everything was there. Um, I was very emotional. It was just, it's just, you don't know what to expect. Amanda Hazelton lives with her husband, two children, and pets on their 20-acre property, where they have a small vineyard and guest house as well. While evacuated, she spent four days watching footage and reading about the fire burning dangerously nearby, something she says was a scary experience. You couldn't tell where it was hitting, so we were like, okay, is there any structures lost yet? Is it hitting our house? We just wanted to be here and see what's going on. Despite Hazelton not being at her home to keep an eye on the blaze, firefighters were. Structural protection units were deployed from the BX Swan Lake Fire Department near Vernon. And as Hazelton's family was being evacuated, fire crews were setting up to keep flames away. I was like, you guys are going to be here to save my house? Oh my god! I, I, I just couldn't believe it. Despite being back home, Hazelton hasn't yet unloaded the truck since her property remains on evacuation alert. But the risk from the Mount Aeneas wildfire seems to have dropped. It's now mapped at 1,783 hectares, and despite still being out of control, the BC Wildfire Service says they don't expect it to grow any larger. For Castanet News, I'm Colton Davies in Summerland.